Tonight, we're dining with cars right outside Margaritaville. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay, and, I'm Sam. and you are watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we are back at the Promenade at Sunset Walk. This is kind of like, best way to describe it is the Disney Springs, right outside Margaritaville, Orlando. Margaritaville, Orlando is actually in Kissimmee, believe it or not, or Kissimmee, I think it's properly pronounced, uh, which is right outside Walt Disney World, right near the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah, we have we're actually 13 minutes from Animal Kingdom. Yeah, and we've, we've eaten at a bunch of places over here if you've seen our other videos. So we ate at the Portillo's, it's right across the street. Uh, we've eaten at Lazy Dog, which is right across the street on Highway 192. We've also eaten at Cowboy Chicken, which is right in the Promenade on Sunset Walk, right? We love Cowboy Chicken. Yeah. And we've dined at another service station themed restaurant not <laughs> far from here. Sicky's Garage. Yeah, so we'll link those videos in the description of this video if you want to check those out. What we're dining at tonight is Ford's Garage. Obviously themed after Henry Ford's famous automobiles and the automobiles that actually proceeded after Henry Ford's life as well. Uh, so you can see like old timey cars right outside the restaurant. It's a very quick walk to Margaritaville. It's probably like five minutes or 10 minute walk right outside the Margaritaville to be able to, it's like right at the front of the Promenade at Sunset Walk. Uh, the, they're pretty much known for American fare, burgers and fries, right? Burgers, beer, barbecue, yeah. America. <laughs> Yeah, America. <laughs> so I'm excited to try a burger out. Um, I do think the burgers here will be better than the ones we had at Sickies, but we will see. I'm expecting them to be good. I'm not sure if they're flame broiled or fried, but we're gonna find out. This is considered a Florida restaurant though, right Sam? Yeah, so it did start in Florida in 2012 in Fort Myers, actually less than a mile from Henry Ford's winter home. Wow. But they do have locations in Texas, Michigan, Ohio. It's a chain. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm excited to try out my first experience at Ford's Garage. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner at Ford's Garage right outside Margaritaville. I figure while we walk to the restaurant and give you guys a little tour of what you can find over here at the Promenade at Sunset Walk. They do have some shopping, so you can see a Skechers. There's Cowboy Chicken. They have a Cold Stone over there, a liquor store, and they have a freshly opened Burger Fi and Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza. They do have live music on the weekends over here as well. Another restaurant we want to try out is the Estefan Kitchen. It has great reviews, but the music is so loud we get worried about filming in there, right, Sam? Yeah, it's owned by Gloria Estefan, obviously. They also have the Wharf at Sunset set walk here. It looks like a seafood restaurant. It looks pretty good. We'll have to try it out one day. They have a Lizzie's Memphis style barbecue right after the wharf at Sunset Walk. This looks pretty good. We'll have to do a review on this one day, Sam. Also, this cafe looks good. Oh yeah, uh, sunny side acai sandwiches and smoothies. I see huge lines for this place for coffee in the morning. If you like axe throwing, they have that here. Lumber Jack's Axe House. To get into that. <laughs> and right next to that is a bento Asian kitchen and sushi. I feel you can find these in a lot of malls. They have an escape room right over there. And right next to the escape room, they do have this open little bar that's actually attached to Game Time, which is kind of like an arcade. Uh, think of Dave and Buster's. It's kind of like a Dave and Buster's Game Time. Sam and I have eaten at this sweets shop and I do really enjoy their pralines. I like the ice cream a lot too, but it's very expensive. Yeah, there's like a resort premium here. Fat Tuesday, just in time for Mardi Gras. Which starts tomorrow at Universal. Yeah. They have a So Fresh and It's Sugar, and then right next to It's Sugar, you're gonna be able to find Ford's Garage. Easiest way to find this, just look for the giant slingshot that is sticking out in the sky. You can actually see this slingshot from the Animal Kingdom Lodge. You can almost see it from where we live, actually. It's huge. Looks like they do have open air seating, which is nice in Florida, especially during the winter time. They do have these classic cars sitting out here with the Ford's Garage Prime Burgers and Craft Beers logo. But it is noted, do not touch. These are antiques. They have these uh, old gas rigs up here at the front and an old air compressor. Before we walked in, I just noticed they have like flatbed doors kind of for the back seats of their benches. As we were walking in, I just realized the door handles are actually the same handles you can find on gas pumps. All right, we are heading in. Look, they have a car right above the bar top over here. All right, we are seated. Sam's checking out the menu. And 
This little thing will let you know that they're actually testing out a new service model. There's pretty much 20% gratuity added to all checks, which I believe is split between the team. Silverware has car parts holding it together. And their beer menu is extensive. You can actually see all of their beers on tap lined up against the back wall. You can see some of their IPAs, amber, red, and brown ales. There's a lot going on here. And if you flip it, you can see what's on tap. Man, they got a lot of beer in here. If I drank beer, this would be like beer heaven. We mostly stick to the food, so let's see what they got here for apps. They do have seasonal food here as well, so they have Philly cheesesteak burger, burn ends loaded fries, so that looks good. Famous Firestone shrimp and an old fashioned. The back has this Cajun chicken skillet, a cinnamon crunch fried ice cream, that sounds good, and a beer battered fish and chips. All right, so they do have these salads, blackened salmon, Thai chicken. The salads look really good. Even the dressings look interesting. They have a ginger peanut, honey mustard, Hidden Valley Ranch is always good. And then for starters, they have the Firestone Shrimp, Ford's Original Nachos, Sesame Crusted Ahi Tuna, Giant Funnel, Piston Onion Rings, Ford's Pickles, which are like pickle spears, and Edsel's Hot Pretzels. I think we might get the Hot Pretzels. Buffalo Chicken Dip, and of course, some classic wings. Of course, they are known for their burgers. So many burgers here, I don't want to list everything here for you, but I'm looking at the Ford Signature. They also have bison burgers and veggie burgers here at the bottom. On the next page, they also have a bunch of sandwiches, smoked burnt ends brisket melt. I think that's what this is. And we've heard the chicken sandwiches are also really good. Oh, they have a Monte Cristo. All the way in the back, they do have some comfort foods like hand-battered chicken tenders. We've heard the meatloaf is amazing. Chicken Henry, black and salmon, so much. Oh, and they have even a pulled pork mac and cheese here at the bottom. There, there's a lot of food to get here. This is like a true book. They also have Sunday brunch. We'll have to come back for that. We are trying to find the best breakfast or brunch in Disney right now. So this car right up here on the bar is a 29 Model A, and they actually say exhaust. You can see the exhaust come out of it. The car right next to all the beers on tap is actually a 28 Model A. They both honk and have smoke come out of them. All right, so we are starting off with Etzel's Hot Pretzels. Etzel being the former president of the Ford Motor Company. These are salted soft pretzels served with Ford's beer cheese and honey mustard dipping sauces. They look really good. They look crispy, salty. Sam's gonna try them out. Shiny, and you can see all that salt on there. They look really good. I think that's the honey mustard right there. Oh, that's a cheese, that's a cheese. Oh, that's cheesy. I'm in a pretzel mood ever since we had the pretzel at Hollywood Studios the other day. I really like the lighting on you right now. I know you can't see what I see, but like you have this blue tint. It's really fun. They're soft on the inside and they're really nice and warm. And then the exterior is like a little toasty and crunchy. And the salt, like, it looks like there's a lot of salt on it, but it's not overpowering it. It's good honey mustard. It has a tang to it. They're really good. I'm gonna go seven. How's the beer cheese? You get a pungent like beer flavor from it or? The beer cheese isn't as beery as I thought it was gonna be. I thought since like they are known for beer that it would have a stronger flavor, but I don't think it's good, but I don't, it's not strong to me. Okay. Honey mustard, your favorite dip? It has a zing, I like it. Look at the cloths. These look like little rags you would little use. Little work rag. Yeah, that you would use to clean a car. All right, let's try the pretzels out. I'm gonna try a little burnt one. So crispy. The inside is nice and soft. All right, everybody. Birthday. The birthday. This is the third one since we've been here. We're only on the appetizers. It's good, but I didn't get like a strong, like the Baseline Tap House, I taste the beer. Very light, hoppy flavor but it's very light. Not like a very beery cheese. All right, this is a honey mustard. Both sweet and spicy. That's great. I agree though, the honey mustard wows me more than the cheese, which is surprising because I'm a cheese guy. I love cheese. I would get an eight, Sam. I think it's better than a seven for me. Um, and you're I right. still think seven is a good number, but at the end of the day, it is still just pretzels. Yeah, I, I want to box this 
we're, we're putting it in like a squeezable container and bring it home with me. The honey mustard is a star, definitely. I'm like, I need to bring that home. All right, dinner is served and surprise, surprise, we both got burgers. I got the Ford's signature burger. Sam, what's in this? The Ford's signature burger has Tillamook sharp cheddar, applewood smoked bacon, bourbon barbecue sauce, crisp lettuce, tomato, and red onion on a brioche bun, and it's a half pound black Angus burger with Ford signature seasoning. So they put that little flag right there on top. They even cooked it medium rare. They put the medium rare tag in there. And then look, they press Ford's garage on the top. All right, so let's see how it is. You can see it's dripping. Perfectly cooked medium rare. Meat melts in my mouth. You can taste high quality meat. Bacon, super crispy. Cheddar is sharp. Really good. I made that burger like an eight. It's a really solid burger. I will come back here for the burger for sure. What burger did you get? The Roadster burger, right? It's the Americana Roadster. Americana, in honor of Miss Americana, Miss Taylor Allison Swift. Is it really? In my mind, that's what it is. Because they actually do have names on the... No, it is called Americana Roadster, but I'm saying it's in honor of Miss Americana. Okay, what's in it? Okay, so this is topped with American cheese, red onion, tomato, crisp lettuce, and pickle planks on a brioche bun. And my burger's a little smaller than yours. The Roadsters are uh, one third pound, and yours is a half pound. All right, let's see how it is. Not as much meat. This is the smaller option. I feel like it's just like classic, you know, America. I feel like I'm like at a barbecue. That thing looks delicious. American cheese. Look how like it looks. It looks really good. And I got tops. Perfectly cooked medium rare. This is a great burger. The meat tastes fresh. Not frozen. Very good. Lettuce is, the lettuce and the onions and tomatoes all taste fresh, crisp. There's also pickle planks on there, which I love. A nice brioche bun. It's a little bit messy, but that's gonna happen. I'm gonna give mine an eight too. Like I would get this again for sure. Yeah, really high quality burger. Now, Sam, you were saying the tots are just okay, but I think there's a move that we figured out that you should do when you come here, that we're definitely gonna do. Mix them. Yes, let's dip it in right now. A little beer cheese flavored tot. So tot alone, you would say it'd be a six, right? What about tot with beer cheese? It's pretty, I would, honestly, it would go nine. It just like, it works really well, the crispy tots. Yeah, the tots are very crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, and a little beer cheese flavor definitely elevates them. All right, so we had to save room for dessert, and they are known for this key lime pie. Also, their old-fashioned milk milkshake blended with Tillamook vanilla ice cream. They have a molten lava cake, caramel apple, co apple cookie skillet. Again, more Tillamook ice cream and a turtle brownie. So a lot of good things on here. All right, so dessert is served. Sam, you got their limited time special, which has the best cereal of all time encompassing it, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What is this called? This is a Cinnamon Crunch fried ice cream. It's Tillamook vanilla ice cream coated with Cinnamon Toast Crunch and deep fried to crispy perfection, served with fresh house made whipped cream and a cherry on top. So they whip the whipped cream freshier in-house. There's a little cherry. What is though? It's weird. <laughs> But we know you ain't sharing. I'm so, oh, it's very melty. We took a lot of pictures, so. So you, it's a fried ice cream, so you want it to be melty like that. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Cinnamony flavor with that little sweet, into sweetness. I feel like I can see the flavor profile on your face. It's so good. It's like everything I wanted it to be. The cinnamon, like the cinnamon toast flavor, like is strong. Like you really like taste it just like the cereal, the ice cream. It's still about ice cream, which is very good ice cream. Fresh whipped cream, like, this is just a high quality place, in my opinion. This garage is doing well. It's a high quality garage, what do you give it? I'm gonna give it an eight. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I'm gonna try it, because I might give it a nine. Might as well just call us the two dessert crew. We always get two desserts here, you and me, Sam. This Sometimes we get three. <laughs> this is their in-house made, Key Lime Pie, it has a graham cracker crust, and they have been bragging, saying that they think it stands up to any Key Lime Pie you can get in Key West, Florida. Them fighting words, Those, that's interesting, right? Ready for a rumble, I guess, I don't know. It also comes with that cream on it, too, and I, I always think graham cracker crust can't go wrong with it. 
To be fair to key lime pies, I'm not a connoisseur. Let's try it out. The graham cracker already broke a bit. I want to get more of that crust. It's so like buttery and fresh, that graham cracker crust. That's probably why I crumble. Nice lime flavor. Good creaminess with the fresh whipped cream. Very good. Creamy, fresh, delicious. Let me have another eight to this. High quality key lime pie. I would like the, so the graham crackers crumble a bit in my mouth. I wouldn't like a little more crunchiness, maybe a little sturdier crust, but it is like crunched up graham cracker. So I can see why it's soft. Still really good, still really enjoyed it. Still giving it an eight. I think, has everything gotten an eight, Sam? I think I give the pretzel seven. Yeah, that's it. No, everything's- I'm a tough critic. Great. And I think um, some of our subscribers, you suggested this spot to us and never have you steered us wrong. This place is really good, really like food. That honestly really surprised me. I did want to bring up on our way out that they do have merchandise here. You can buy different hats and shirts and sweatshirts and even stuff for your dog. All right, so that is for our experience at Ford's Garage over here at the Promenade at Sunset Rock, right outside Margaritaville. I was highly impressed. I did not expect to enjoy the food as much as I did, right? Same, and like theming, service, food, everything on point. And I love that they pay their staff a living wage because the Florida <laughs> minimum wage for servers is very low, so that's why they do that 20% charge yeah. to your bill so that everyone can get paid fairly. Yeah. Which I think everyone deserves a living wage. Yeah, just so you know, you will get a 20% extra gratuity charge after the fact that will be split among the server staff because they only get paid $9 an hour because that's a server charge. Standard minimum here is $15 an hour. Uh, we will say that the system they've put in place, uh, we felt that we were always taken care of the entire time we were there. Either our, our server our, or waiter himself or anyone else was always asking how we were doing, coming over, asking how the food was. So it was really nice to be able to, to see that like kind of standard of... Hospitality. Yes, that you really only see at like fine dining restaurants. Yeah, know? and out of all the places that we have done videos on outside of like the theme parks, I yeah. think that this was my favorite so far. Like it really was On good. 192, I would say this and Portillo's yeah. are my two top. You really like cowboy chicken though too. I do, but I'm talking about like sit down. Sit down dining, service. this is like, my top one on 192. Really great. Yeah, we're near one. Ed was amazing. Yeah. Everyone everyone that we met was really great and the food was awesome. What was your favorite thing that you ate? Honestly, I really liked everything. Yeah? I thought you were gonna say the ice cream. The ice cream was really, really <laughs> good. It was like you know when you drink the cinnamon toast crunch milk? Yeah. It was like that, but like with ice cream and whipped cream at the end <laughs> when it was getting all melty. Yeah. Like it was heavenly. Yeah, for me it was the burger. Um, I thought the burger was very well made, uh, juicy in the center. Very fresh, you yes. tasted that it was fresh. Yeah, and they put like a special seasoning on it that was very good. The bacon was super crispy. Uh, the vegetables on it, or the lettuce and tomato tasted very fresh. So it's really good burgers, really great food. We really recommend them. So if you're staying at the Margaritaville or maybe you're near like the Animal Kingdom Lodge and mm -hmm. you want a really good burger, or you're looking for like a great spot, maybe you're a car fan, you want to see those Model A's that are sitting out. So another thing, the aesthetic was very nice too. Those blue hues kind of very, led themselves. Yeah, it was very nicely styled for yeah. a service garage. Yeah, uh, you could see those blue hues everywhere underneath the cars as you walk in on the sides of the building. It was really nice and everything felt like them thematically cohesive. A lot of fun and the Model A is just like sitting right up there. Really cool. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help the channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps the people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. We make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. The live music at the Promenade and Sunset Walk is a great amenity to have at Margaritaville. Also, it's like every time we've ever come here, it's never crowded. Like, it's Friday night right now. Like, does it look crowded to you? Yeah, no, it's... it's also very clean. Yeah, a lot, very clean. A lot of shops. A good shopping you do here, a lot of good food. Honestly, staying in the Margaritaville, you get a lot of amenities. You are a bit farther from the parks, though. But I think they do have some transportation.